today, I will talk about how to ace the law school admissions interview. This is the second part of my law school series regarding admissions to the law school. In my previous video, which is a video card up here, and I will put a link in the description below on how to apply or how to prepare to apply for the law schools. Before I start the video, I'd like to welcome anybody new here to the channel. I invite you to like, to share, and to subscribe. By subscribing to my channel, you're helping me, helping you to become a better law student or a better lawyer by helping my channel grow. The video begins now. Welcome back. Today we're going to have a great video. So, in order for you to remember what I talked about in the video, I want you to prepare your favorite beverage, coffee, hot chocolate, maybe even a drink, and a pen and paper. Go ahead, I'll wait for you while you get it. Oh wait, the phone's ringing. Hold on. Hello? Oh, hi son. Oh wait, they can pause the video? Oh, okay. Thanks son. Well, sorry for that. Just pause the video. Okay, now you're back. Hopefully you unpaused. So, you're applying to the law schools. Remember, you've passed the first two hurdles. You've finished the application, and you've passed the Andrews exam, if there was any. And now is the last step, the law school admissions interview. Just know that you are 95% on the way. That means you only have a 5% chance of not making it. Or better yet, you have a 95% chance of being admitted to the law school. This video is applicable to both all law schools, both in the United States and in the Philippines. If any American is watching this video, I hope this can help you too. What's the first thing you need to do? First, you have to have a good mindset. Remember that dream that you wanted to become a lawyer? Well, do that. Remember that point in life? Was it a TV show? What is a past incident? Was it something that affected your family? Remember that point in life, that spark, that incident, convinced you that you want to be a lawyer. Having that mindset throughout the interview will guide you to the questions where you probably have a mental block or you probably can't figure out the answer. Also, to prepare for that mindset, wear what you want to be. Wear that outfit that shows that you want to be a lawyer. Wear that outfit that shows that you want to be a law student. Wear that outfit that shows that you want to be in that law school that you are applying to. Of course, when you're being interviewed, there's gonna be a lot of questions. Of course, you may have to make sure of your personal information questions, such as where did you go to college? What course did you take? Even though it's in the application form, know why you chose that major. And of course, why do you want to become a lawyer or why did you apply to the law school? And then going back to that mindset, it's that incident, that moment, why you chose to enter into the legal profession. One of the most often questions asked is, where do you see yourself in five to 10 years? The best answer to that, in my opinion, is to say that in five years, you're going to be a lawyer, you're going to pass the bar exam, and you're going to start your legal career. In 10 years, maybe you can say, I'll either be a junior associate or a senior associate or well into your practice. Sometimes law deans or whoever's interviewing you might ask, how do you see yourself as a law student? I would answer that question if I was a potential law student. Say that I see myself as a hardworking, hard studying, dedicated law student. Or just answer along those lines. Your answer should be in the frame or thinking that you already know that's going to take four years of studying before you graduate and then six to eight months of studying before you take the bar exam and another four to six months waiting for the results. Having that frame of mind while answering the questions will guide you when you are faced with tough questions in the interview. Also, if you're going to be asked questions about how it is to be a law student or how to prepare to be a law student, have in your mind, have a mindset that you are accepting the hardships of being a law student. You're going to accept that once in a while, you're going to have setbacks, such as bad recitations, bad midterm exams, bad final exams, bad hair days, and failed subjects. That is a norm in the law school and tell whoever's interviewing you that you're ready to face that. Tell that interviewer that you have the fortitude, the courage, and the strength to face those challenges, fall down, and stand back up. For lack of a better term, I'm gonna keep using the word mindset throughout this video. Another important mindset that you should have is that when you're reasoning out to the interviewer, know and feel that you want to be a lawyer, that you want to be a law student, and not that you deserve to be a lawyer. It's because you want to be one. 
sometimes the interview questions might go along to the point of what type of lawyer do you see yourself or what type of practice do you want to be in? Again, remember that dream, that point in your life where you started that dream, started that choice to be a lawyer. First, have that in mind, have that in your head, and answer why you want to be a lawyer or what type of lawyer you want to be. Also, if there are questions regarding what type of practice did you want to be in, answer that you're also open to other forms of practice, such as corporate law, tax law, or, or estate tax law. Also, if you want to be, say that you're open to government service, such as being a prosecutor, a public defender, or what we call a public attorney, and that you're open, if ever, to be part of the judiciary, whether you're a judge, an appeals judge, or, dare I say, a Supreme Court justice. If the interviewer is going along the questions about time and resources, answer this way. Say that you are prepared to dedicate five to six hours of your day for class. Also, that you are going to dedicate five to six hours of study per day to prepare for that class. Also, say that you're ready to give up weekends, family parties, family gatherings. You're going to dedicate your free time to study for law school. But you're not going to forget family. Remember, family is important. Whoever is interviewing you would want to see that you are dedicated to both becoming a lawyer, becoming a good law student, and still not forgetting the family. Although it's a touchy subject, the interviewer might ask you about your personal life. But if ever the interviewer crosses that line, say that you are ready to talk to your significant other and that you're going to strengthen the relationship to prepare to be a law student. There might be other questions that may come up that's not part of this video. But if you have that mindset in your head of that dream, why you want to become a lawyer, that will guide you to great answers to that interview. I wish you good luck. And remember, you are going to ace that law school admissions interview. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.